from Finland, Helsinki. And I just, here's a lot of pictures. I made it for Rotary, so there's a lot of like pictures about my family and stuff, but we can just, I can skip some things about that. So about Finland, it's known as a land of thousand lakes. There's a lot of lakes like everywhere. And there's about 5.5 million people now, I think. It's growing, but not very much. And the population is mostly in the south. So in the north, I think there's like more reindeers than people. I heard, I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been there, but all this. Okay, so uh, um, Helsinki is the capital right now, and that's where I live. So everybody, everybody and everything is based in there, so there's everything you can find in Finland is basically in Helsinki. <coughs> and we use Euro right now, we're in part of the Europe, so that's that. And I think the three things Finland is known for the best is obviously sauna, like that's, we, we have that in everywhere. Like even in the city, in the buildings, there's saunas in every building, I think. And I think there's actually like now there's uh, restaurants where it's sauna, so you can like eat in the sauna. What? Yeah. <laughs> so that's a bit crazy, I think. Then hockey. Well, that's basically the same as here. We everybody plays hockey. Maybe basically boys, actually not girls, but everybody plays hockey, and it's a big thing. Like that's like I don't really think we watch any other sports that we watch, everybody watches hockey, that's the main thing. And then we have a really good school system. I think it's like one of the best in the world. It's really hard, it's, I know that it's good, but it's really hard, like you need to study really hard. And there's a really, we have good schools, and actually like there's free, like the universities are free too. <coughs> so that's real good, but it's really hard to get in. So if you get in, that's really good, I think. And then there's just some pictures, lakes, lakes, and then that's my summer house. Not mine, but my family's summer house. And in the winter though, but yeah. Then about Helsinki, so there lives about 5.5 million people like in the city. And I think like around Helsinki, like the whole Helsinki area is like almost 2 million people. So almost every, like most of the population is in Helsinki. <coughs> it's, well, yeah, everything is in Helsinki, like I said. It's, it's we have like maybe three big cities in Finland, <coughs> like our act, like actual cities, and Helsinki is the biggest, obviously. And it's, I think, the most of the tourists come there uh, when they come to Finland. <coughs> what else? And actually, we have a lot of Swedish-speaking people. Like in Finland, it's Finland. We have to. You have to learn Swedish. Like we have to. We start learning Swedish in grade four, I think. So you have like it's the same that you have to learn French. But we like have to study it for. I have been studying now for like eight years. And then we have to learn English. So we have to know three <laughs> languages in Finland, to be like able to work at, even like it. I don't know. Anywhere you have to learn Swedish. And actually I'm like I'm half Swedish, so that's not a problem for me, but there's a lot of Swedish speak uh, speaking people in Finland. Oh, I have I have. Okay. So the food in Finland, I think we eat a lot of fish, potatoes and berries and coffee. We drink a lot of coffee. Coffee is the main. You drink coffee in the morning at lunch. Maybe like 5 cups of coffee in the day. That's like the basic. And actually now we're becoming like really healthy and organic. That's like a big thing now. Like even in the city, we there's a lot of new restaurants and stuff where you can get like really good food and it's organic and healthy. Right now it's pretty expensive, I think, but like the whole Finland is really expensive, but it's really good now. And obviously in the city, we have a lot of like international foods. So I don't think, we don't have that much like only Finnish food anymore. There's a lot of like from Sweden and Italy. We eat a lot of pasta too. So that's from Italy obviously. And yeah. So the school in Finland, like I said, is really hard. 
we go first, you have to go nine years. That's like you have to go nine years in school. That's like the must. And after that, you can stop going to school if you want. But uh, nobody actually does that because then you can't get really anywhere to work. So then you have to get into high school. That is uh, three years. So I have done one year of high school. I have two years left. And the high school is you have to like you have to apply. In Helsinki, there's about, I would say, 300 high schools. So that's a lot. And there's about usually 100 students in one grade. So about 300 students in one high school. And there's a lot of different high schools. So I'm in business high school. <clears throat> but there's like art and music and acting and I don't know. Didn't, a lot of different. I don't even know. Uh, but yeah, it's three years. It's really hard uh, studying. Like you have to get good marks to like, I don't know, to get into university and stuff. And they, we have like in the end of high school, you have, you can pick six subjects and you write like an exams of that. And the exams is like six hours long. And it's really hard. It's, it takes a lot of work. So basically the whole, whole high school is based on the test in the end. So the whole high school you study for the test in the end. So it's, it's pretty hard and we get like, in the whole year you have to get 32 like curse and we have like I don't I, it's hard to explain it's hard just that and we don't have any like sports at school so it's only school you only study there we usually start school at about 8 30 I would say and end at 3 or 4 and after that you don't have any sports so the sports are outside the school and yeah, I don't know. Here, school's just school. It's just for studying. It's pretty boring, but it's cool. There's some pictures. The middle one is my school where I go. It's it's a little bit like outside the city, so I have to take the bus, but it takes like 10 minutes, and that's like a lot in the city. But yeah, it's a little bit outside. It's a business school, and then we have in the school we have a sauna obviously a uh, swimming pool um, bat like a football field I think it's called and I don't know I think that's it then what else there's a picture oh yeah yeah um, the last picture over there that's what you do in the third year I think yeah last year you go in February when you're done with the test. You, the last year students, they dress up like that. You can, I don't know, they have a, usually have a team or something. They rent like trucks and they go, like all high school students, they go around the city and throw candy at kids. That's what they do. And what else? Oh, the last picture. That's, we have like prom in second year, you have prom, that's the big thing. I think it's in February too, and it's only for second year students. So that's. Oh, I choose it. Well, my dad wanted me to go, and you can like, in the ninth, I think it's, yeah, ninth grade, you. Okay, yeah. Uh, ninth grade, you apply for high school and you get to choose like five high school where you would like to go. And then they look at your marks if they're like good enough. And then you get the where, basically where they choose. So I applied, it was my first choice, so that was good. And I, because I didn't really know what to do. And it was easy to get in because I had to like write a letter and then they had interviews and they look at my marks, so that was like, easy to get in so yeah but it's it's getting harder and harder to get into high school in Finland like there's if you want to go into good high school it's really hard there's like not bad high schools but like not that good where you can get in like really easily and where like yeah they're not that good and this is a private high school so most of the schools are private right now so, and they're also like harder to get in, but you don't still have to like pay. I don't know where they're private. They get to choose things for their own, I think, or something, I think. 
Uh, okay, skip that. Okay, well, I can just tell. Um, well, this is my family. I have two little sisters and, and mom, dad, obviously, and then we have two dogs. We travel a lot, so like holidays, we don't actually usually spend in Finland. So basically, when I'm in Finland, I only go to school. That's basically what I do. Uh, we usually, we travel, like in Europe, you travel a lot. Because you can like drive, like I, in here, you have to drive like 22 hours to, I don't know, get like other side of the province. But in, if we left, we left in summer uh, 22 hours to drive, it was to Italy. So basically, in one day you can k get across the whole Europe. So <laughs> you travel a lot in Europe. We go skiing in the Alps. We go to Italy a lot, France, um, a lot of stuff. And then we also, we do sailing. Well, I don't have pictures of that now. But we sail and that's basically what we do. <laughs> we don't really, yeah. A lot of people in Finland have like, they have two homes. If you live in the city, you have like a small apartment and then you have like a summer place, like a big house or something by the lake or sea. And yeah, we have that too. And then we sail and we travel a lot. So we don't really stay in Finland that much. And yeah, there's just some pictures of the family. There's more, more <coughs> pictures. I don't really know what to say <laughs> about those, but yeah. Uh, 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 we ski, we sail, we travel. That's basically it. And yeah, uh, my dad is a CEO in a health company that is, it's really big, but it's basically probably the only health company in that right now. And my mom has her own business, a law firm. So yeah, and I don't know. <laughs> There's pictures of my friends. Just <coughs> with even with my friends, we travel a lot. Like <laughs> it's really common in Finland to travel, ba uh, uh, especially in the city, because like nobody wants to stay in the city for the holiday. Like in Christmas, there comes a lot of like tourists and stuff, so you don't really want to stay there. It's, I don't know, I get, mm, yeah. <laughs> and a lot of people ski, like downhill ski in Finland. So that's, we don't have mountains though. It's like hills, kind of like in here, I think. So a lot of people uh, drive to the Alps or go with the plane or something. And, uh, yeah. And we do also like, I don't know, cross country skiing. That's a big thing. I actually haven't never done that. So that's, I don't know, I don't know. But now I'm in the ski team, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, more pictures. Um, oh, the down, whatever, that side picture. Is that what we do in midsummer? You go like the whole year, you like, I don't know, get your I don't know, trash, all the trash, trash. You like build a big, whatever that is called, and then you put it on, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, you, I don't know, you build a, like a, I don't know what it's called. Is it a lake? Yeah, yeah, like a bonfire, yeah. And then you put it in like the middle of the lake and you watch it burn the whole night. That's the thing in the midsummer. I don't know, it, like in the midsummer, the sun doesn't go down. So that's like min midsummer, the sun is up like the whole night. So it doesn't really get dark. And like, but in the winter, it gets like really dark. Like right now, it's probably dark in Finland the whole time. But in the summer, it's really like, there's a lot of lights in summer. So the summers are really nice in Finland, but the winters, are kind of depressing because it's dark and wet and we get snow, but it doesn't really get that cold like in here. Like this would be cold for us, what is now. And this is like nice for you, <laughs> but it's cold for me. And, but the summers are like 
maybe plus 20, 25, it's really like hot. So it's actually like really nice. The summer is really nice, but the winter is not. And yeah, there's more pictures. That's from the sea. We obviously, if you go sailing, you go into the sea and there's like a lot of places where you can stay overnight with your boat and stuff. So it's really nice. Like we usually actually spend the whole summer sailing like four weeks in a row. So it's really nice. Like it's, and you can go to like Sweden in, in one night. So it's really nice. And yeah, I think, well, there's more pictures, but that's fine. I think that's it. Any questions? Sorry. Any questions? How did you learn English? Oh, uh, well, we started learning English at school, obviously, at uh, grade three, I think. Yeah. And you learn the, like, the words and stuff, but you don't really learn how to speak. Because we don't have to really speak English in Finland, obviously, because everybody speaks Finnish. But when you travel, you have to speak English because nobody speaks Finnish. Like, I don't think there's anyone in any other country that speaks Finnish. Like, <laughs> it's really rare. But yeah, but we have like all the TV shows are in English. We have like we don't like in Germany they put it they put it in German, but we keep it in English and we just put like subtitles. yeah subtitles on it. And yeah, so. We have to learn English because nobody else speaks Spanish. That's basically it. <laughs> yeah. When did you first learn about the Rotary Exchange program? Oh, the Rotary. Um, I was my dad was a Rotary Exchange student, so that's what he's been talking about it probably for me, to, to, like the whole life for my whole life. I've been hearing about their exchange year and the Rotary stuff. So, but I went to the short term exchange last summer to Italy for four weeks and then I decided that I want to do the year basically to get away from home and because I don't know what to do so I'm here. Yeah. Why did you stand up? Oh well you don't really get to choose you get to say where you would like to go and I wanted to learn English so I was so I had Canada and Australia and stuff like that and then I just when they say that they might have a place in Canada I was like yeah I can take that because that was like in May so I didn't want to wait any longer. I was like, yeah, I can take that. <laughs> Some people went to like Brazil that much. That's like a bigger culture shock. And like in here, it's pretty similar to Finland, like the nature, like only difference is all the school and the language. So it's not that bad, but obviously you're like here alone. So it wasn't that bad. And I have traveled a lot. So I have like seen a lot of cultures, but obviously it's different, but it's, it wasn't that big of a shock for me because it's really same for Finland. It's not that different. Why, was, why did you think it was so difficult to get into one of the best high schools? Did a lot of people mm. apply to your school? Yeah, a lot of people like, uh, there's a lot of people who don't get into high school and have like a free year after, I don't know what the school is called, but after ninth grade. So it's really hard. I, I, like, I don't know why it's so hard, probably because so many people want to go to high school and high school is basically that you don't know what you're going to like, what do you want to do? Or then you want to become like a doctor or something. So then you go to high school. There's like, there are schools where you can like, if you know that you want to be a hairdresser, you can just go to that. And then you just learn how to become a hairdresser and you don't have like the high school education. But in high school, you learn everything. Like you have to take math and chemistry and biology and all that stuff. So. A lot of people, if they don't know what they want to do, like me, went to high school. And it's really hard because everybody wants to go to high school. And there's so many people who are applying. Do Because there's like maybe 10 good high schools that everybody wants to go in. So basically, everybody applies for those. <coughs> the business school is just like you learn the same. Like in every high school, you have the basics, like all the math and stuff. But then you, if, like I'm in business school, so I have more business. And like the, there are some classes that are only for business, and like there's just more to choose. But it doesn't mean that you have to go to a business school after. You just get like a, I don't know, something that you have been in a business school, so that's it's easier to get in if you want to go to business. But you can also be in a business school and want to be a doctor. So that's yeah, it doesn't really matter. It's just 
you get more business. So Finnish looks like a very difficult language to learn. The words are so long. <laughs> um, is Swedish similar, or is it a, a different? Mm. Yeah, it's pretty, like there are some words that are this, not the same, but like similar. And the, well, Finnish is like really hard. I, I'm pretty sure it's like one of the hardest languages. Like it doesn't make any sense actually. And like there's like 15 different things to say the same thing. But Swedish is, for some people in Finland, it's really hard to learn. And I don't, like I don't know. For me, it was pretty easy, but there are some differences, of course, but it's like it's more similar to Finnish than like English. Like it's hard for me; it's easier to learn Swedish than English. Okay. We've just come back from Iceland. We had a few days, and their their language is incredibly difficult. It looks like Finnish, but they do the same thing. They learn their English from the movies. From they do ten years of English in school, and they all speak perfect English. I was amazed. Is that the same in in Finland that everybody speaks? Yeah, like, there are people, there's a lot of people, like, Finnish people are, like, really, they're just Finnish. Like, they don't want to be, they don't want to speak English, they don't want to speak sp Swedish or stuff. So they just speak, in like, Finnish. But if you speak English, you usually speak, like, really good English. Like, you know how to, like, do the basic stuff. But, like, I, and I think, like, my little sister, she was probably, like, seven or something, and she speaks as good as English as I did. So... Like a lot of kids nowadays speak really good English because of the movies and stuff, and they watch it so much. And like I think like it's probably Scandinavia that speaks like really good English because nobody speaks like Finnish, Swedish, or no, no Norwegian. I think is the language. Yeah, but like in, if you go to French, they don't want to speak English. They they maybe know, but they don't want to because they're French. They they only speak French. Even to like for us, if we're like. European, they don't, they don't do that. <laughs> they like they understand, but they don't speak back to you. So, be, like in Europe, you have to learn. Like I know Italian, Spanish, and French, and English, and Swedish, and uh, what else? So I know six languages. So and that's like the basic in Finland. Like oh no, in Europe, so you have to learn a lot of languages. Last question, I think. Can you teach us to say hello in both Finnish and Swedish? Her, I think <laughs> it's pretty easy like say hello it's in Finnish is moi like you spell it the same way as you say like me in French so it's moi yeah it's pretty easy and in Swedish it's pretty easy too it's just like hey it's pretty easy like that's easy but the other stuff not <laughs>